We are seated in the latest addition to IL-2, the IAR-80. A Romanian plane and quite a funny plane as some of the indicators in the cockpit are written in German and some are in the Romanian language. And today we will check out this plane in virtual reality of course. Another funny thing is when you pull the throttle lever towards you, you will increase power and when putting it away from you, you can put it in idle. Alright, let's start this plane and let's taxi to the runway. Now the first production IAR-80s were completed in January 1941 and they were in action against the Soviets from the first day of Operation Barbarossa on June 22nd, 1941. So this is an Axis plane, it's categorized under the Axis. And the engines should start any time now, we can see the propeller going around. There we go, beautiful. And what I will be doing is putting the flaps down. You can see that blue handle down below and I will put the uh, the flaps towards 66%. Not sure if that's the way how to take off, but for me it works well. And this plane, like any other latest module in IL-2, looks fantastic in VR. And I can only really advise you to play IL-2 in VR. It, you know, the performance is absolutely fantastic. Now, this is not the easiest plane to fly. There is a lot of engine management to it. You have to control the pitch with the prop control. But once you get used to that, it's really, really satisfying to just, you know, fly this plane and do some dock firing or some dive bombing. But more on that later. Here on the left, you can have the prop control. I can pitch up, pitch down. And you see that clock up there in the cockpit? It's uh, towards 12 o'clock now. It's not 11.30. And this is how you control the pitch. But uh, again, more on that later. Let's taxi towards the runway here. Let me increase some throttle. And let me also release the brakes here. And you can see the uh, brake pressure down below where my feet are. Giving a little bit of thrust here. And one thing that comes into mind here is that it doesn't really want to spin around. So it's, it's quite easy to taxi this plane towards the runway and getting it aligned with the runway without too much hassle. So uh, the runway is quite, it's already here, making a sh sort of a right turn here. The pitch is all the way up at 12 o'clock, which means that the uh, prep control is all the way, well, at its maximum. And we really have to listen to the engine to not blow it up while we take off. But again, more on that later. Let me align here. A bit of extra throttle. A bit more. There we go, beautiful. And slowly pulling the stick backwards. You can already hear the, the engine wrapping up. That's not what we want. I have to take care of this. So I'm now changing the pitch here with the prep control, as you can see. Putting it towards, uh, what is it, almost 11 o'clock. Flaps up. And I'll take it easy. Here, gear up. And there we go. We are airborne. And in VR... This never gets old. Now one thing I notice, I am going around 350 kph here, making a left turn, really pulling the stick here, making quite a sharp turn, not losing any speed. It's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, wondering how this will do in a dogfight, but this looks promising. Now let me show you the engine management here. It's now at 10 o'clock, you can see it on this indicator over here. Let me pull it up. You hear the engine revving? Let me put it down again. Going back to normal. And see how fast we can destroy the engine. Putting it all the way to 12 o'clock. Oh, straight away it stops. And it won't turn on. I can tell you that. Crash landing incoming. Now, what you want to do with this plane, I think, is to do some dive bombing. It's really fun. Uh, what you want to do here is switch it to bomb mode. There we go. Then the flaps will go down automatically. Fully extending here. I'm uh, making a left turn. Let's see if we can uh, drop some bombs on this house here. I don't think I will be able to turn that much. Okay. Well, uh, let me just straighten out here. 
Drop the bombs. There we go. Let me just take a quick look if I have dropped them. Uh, yeah, we have dropped them. Okay. Switching. Uh, flaps are back up now. And then switching to uh, from bomb mode to just uh, gun mode here. While we go up. There we go. And while we go up, I can increase the pitch a little bit. Let's uh, do another bomb run here. Switching to bomb mode. Flaps will go all the way down. Let me find a target here. Uh, we have a civilian house over there. That's a great target. Moving in here to the left. While we are going into the dive. Of course, I have to lower the pitch here. It's now at around 9.15 on that indicator. Going down. You can hear the engines revving up. We'll have to watch out for that. Dropping the bombs here. Flaps will go up. Let me take a look. Yep, that's oh, that's uh, that's on target. All right, perfect. Changing from bomb mode to normal mode. And while we go up, I'm switching it back. There we go. And while we go up in altitude, which I will be doing right now, I can increase the pitch here. You can see 10 o'clock. Now you can even move it up to 11 o'clock, but as you can see, there is a lot of engine management to it. So you kind of have to like it if you want to operate this plane. Not for everyone, but very satisfying once you get the hang of it. Now, I have not been flying this plane in a multiplayer session, so I don't really know how it performs in a dogfight. Playing against an AI here, uh, the P-51, turning in very sharp here, pulling the stick backwards, making that sharp turn... I'm surprised that I can really be on his 6 this easy. Although, again, this is an AI. And still maintain quite some speed here. Um, While well, the P-51 is also turning. And after some minutes now, I'm, I'm really close here. Trying to get some shots off. I don't really know what the convergence is of this one. But uh, I hit him once there, I think. As you can see, it also has a mirror. And as of now, I have not found how you can detach that. So you always have to fly with the mirror. There we go. Got some hits off. Uh, now, when this P-51 just flies straight, he will just out uh, outspeed me. That's a little bit of a problem. But yeah, these are my first impressions of this plane. A lot of engine management, sure. But a super fun plane, I think, to play in a multiplayer session. Especially if you like flying bomber planes or bomber fighter planes because I think this plane will do very well carrying bombs uh, have some decent speed and just drop some bombs over the target now as far as I know this plane was only flying in the eastern theater it was also flying against B-24 heavy bombers trying to shoot them out of the air but after Romania switched sides in August 1944 and joined the Allies the IAR-80s and the IAR-81s, they fought alongside the Soviets until the war ended in May 1945. And I think that's when this plane ended its career as well. I hope this gave you a quick insight in what this plane has to offer. I will have to fly it a bit more to see if I really like it. But until now, yeah, it's quite fun. I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.